Hey, what's up guys? Jack guy here and make sure you go ahead and leave a like if this did help you I know you guys hear that so much in the beginning of red arrow channels seriously it would help and yeah Let's get right into the tutorial right so in the tutorial so basically this tutorial is gonna show you how you can live stream straight onto YouTube from your computer uh, using a program called OBS or XSplit or whatever. Um, so essentially, this is what that's this is the, what the tour is gonna be about. So yeah, um, live streaming on YouTube, relatively easy. It's uh, all you really need to do is just fill out fill out a little bit of uh, information right here. Basically, the same thing that you'd be doing whenever you uh, make a video and whatnot. Uh, and then uh, yeah. Obviously, there's this right here. That's gonna be the server URL, and then the stream key is gonna be a uh, specific for your channel. So don't show it to anyone unless you want to get hacked. And then uh, fill out whatever you want. This is basically uh, my live stream thing because this is back when I did my charity live stream. So I still have this thing all set up because it, it saves it pretty much. When you go into the live stream section of your channel, it will just save whatever you put in there. So, um, but obviously it won't be live all the time. Only when you go and make it live using. Uh, whatever software you're gonna use which I'm gonna show you um, and yes, yeah, so that's basically fill out the description title stream options um, You know basic stuff that you do like normally in any video that you would make uh, it also goes with um With cards and also there's I think there's an annotations on it as well And you could obviously change the thumbnail. That's I highly recommend because you know you always have to have that clickbait um and then super chat which is where they can donate to you and they could like look famous on top of your chat bar and they get shout outs like that something I don't know um, but most likely you're not gonna get people to do that so but you know might as well just put it on it won't hurt and then down here is gonna be stream options uh, if you have slow Wi-Fi I would recommend that you don't use um, this one uh, or sorry yeah this one I would recommend you use the bottom one because that would make sure that it doesn't like freeze in the middle of your recording whatever um, but this one will make it like high like it will be like I think real time pretty much this one will be delayed by like a few seconds uh, depending on how slow your internet is like for example uh, the bad thing is if your internet cuts out a lot uh, if you cut if your internet cuts out in the middle of streaming it will actually just start over again it won't even be online it will start the whole stream over again and then you'll have tons of like different streams on your channel uploads and it's, it's gonna look really weird so uh to prevent that from happening if you have slow wi-fi even if you don't have slow wi-fi i would just recommend doing this just to be safe because you know it ain't perfect and you might you might experience a connection loss and that might be bad because after about 15 seconds of no connection uh youtube will automatically just stop it so yeah definitely do that just in case but that's basically the just you know you have advanced options right here that'll lead you to a uh, place where you can put tags and stuff and normal things that you do with a normal video and then here the ingestion settings is just when you're gonna be able to uh, adjust that when you're recording whatever you're doing it's not gonna work now because I'm not actually streaming obviously I'm pretty sure I'm not streaming so it's not gonna work with me right now basically with that you just adjust um, some settings without having to be on OBS or XSplit or something like that monetize your charities like that pretty self-explanatory and then here are two options you can play an ad midstream or you can create a highlights I've never actually used that so I don't know that's basically like the jazz of the YouTube part now part two you're gonna either want to have OBS or XSplit but since you know since I already have XSplit pre-installed I'm just gonna go with OBS because I have OBS pre-installed as well so it should load up right here basically it won't look like this to you it's pretty much just gonna look like a black screen um, simply because you're not gonna have any settings opened up like right down here I actually have these so stories going on right here um, I like to call them stories but essentially what you do is you just add certain things let me just minimize this uh, add a certain thing which will create a whole playback section right here so for example this is like a website capture so to get that you would go to display capture and then you would uh, capture whatever you wanted to like in a browser or whatnot um, and then text just you can write some text if you wanted to um, and then yeah some more website captures is what I have right here you can add an image 
you just put an image there by selecting it and then you go into your settings and do that um and yeah this is all automatic because this was a charity stream so it's a little bit more involved than just adding some text but um for the most part that's what you're gonna do if you want to do a basic youtube stream then you're probably just gonna uh, put like a game capture or whatever like if you want to do game capture like you would on twitch you just open up a game and then simply go down here move it up here because the thing goes all the way to, uh, thing goes all the way down here press game capture and then uh capture whatever you want to capture yeah capture whatever you want to capture great right so um and then once basically you have everything set up i mean it's really self-explanatory i don't think i have to explain like everything on how to set the whole thing up and make it look nice because that's up to you you make it as pretty as you want it to be um finally you're gonna actually um connect this to youtube so we can stream right into youtube you go down down to settings and this is where you're gonna press stream and Here's gonna be your options. YouTube service. I mean, look at all that crap that you can stream to. I didn't even realize. And then that's where you're gonna paste your stream key right there. And make sure you, do, you don't show it to anyone because you're gonna get swatted uh, or something. You can actually set scene transitions, which can like actually make stuff happen on the thing while it's streaming. That actually eats up on your Wi-Fi connection and it just might slow down the connection and make the signal laggy on YouTube. Last thing that you want is a, a very laggy stream. That never looks good, trust me. Uh, you press start streaming and it's that easy. It doesn't even ask you to confirm or anything. So make sure that when you press start, you mean it. It's not gonna uh, ask for permission or whatever. And that's essentially how you stream straight on YouTube. And once you're done streaming, it will save a copy to your YouTube channel, which you will then uh, be able to have as a video. You could also record just normally with this down here. And you have studio mode, which is basically over on the left that's where you can control it and then over on the right uh you could actually see what the output looks like so this way um this way like if you want to edit it no one will see you editing it on the stream which is pretty neat so yeah i recommend doing that if you're going to edit stuff on stream thank you guys so much for watching like i said in the very beginning of this video uh if you were to leave a like that'd be great i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye